What's up guys? Um, today I'm gonna show you how to make the depth of field effect. So first of all, you'll be needing to download the HLAE program. You can download it from the internet. I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, so let's start it up. Okay, so when you haven't even used this before, you will be seeing this. Make sure that it's always updated. Um, you can always you can always check for updates here. Check for updates. Auto check. Just check this. Okay. Make sure it's always checked, and always get the latest version of HLAE. Okay. Let's go to tools, the de developer, custom loader, and so the first time you will be opening this, you will have. You'll have nothing here. You'll have nothing. So you have to browse and then select AFX hook source dot DLL. Not hooks hook gold dot DLL. Hook source. Yeah, pick that. And press open. And for the program path, um you have to find the CSGO app. So you have to go to pro local disk C just find it go to your steam folder steam apps common csgo and there select this one and press open so here are some commands that will start up with the game so if there is any command that you don't want to start up with the game just remove it the first time you'll you'll see this open there's a dash window window windowed yeah, but I removed it. I don't want a windowed screen. So after that, just press OK. Then start it up. Okay, so when you open HLAE, there will be a console popping up and a Valve anti-cheat warning. But you won't actually get banned as soon as you won't go online or anything. Oh. Let's start. Um start your demo okay so we're in this demo let's go to our player where's my player let's go to my player and the uh, time the tick you want to start recording okay so this guy this guy made a pretty sick wall bang on in inferno um i forgot you have to put this command it's a it's a it's a config inside HLAE which allows us to use these the depth of field commands the streams just put ex execute afx update afx slash update work around then boom we are we're we have access to a few commands which will help us let's remove the HUD first now we're gonna put merv underscore streams preview uh, preview my depth so you can see there's black and white black and white stuff some fog so as you can see the the white parts are the parts of the video that will be blurred out so the further away the blurrier the nearer the more focused parts in this guy so yeah so if you want to edit the blurriness just go to merv underscore streams edit my depth val into something like 300 c 300 or let's try let's try 3 1000 see further so let's go back to 30 cuz yeah 30 the def default default one let's I'll edit it a bit 
could see all the other things that you could edit by just typing merv by just typing merv underscore streams my death capture type other stuff like that but we're only gonna focus here on the depth val because that's the only thing that's actually needed I'll put 100 so it'd be further away or 150 50 there so everything that's near is in focus now there's this merv underscore underscore streams my mat which is your merv underscore streams preview my mat it's just the green screen of your player model and the other player models if you want to reset reset it like you won't preview any streams just put merv underscore streams preview and these two things what do you call it two columns yeah just put those <laughs> if i don't know what to call it now we're gonna start recording if you put merv underscore streams print these are the things that will be recorded so we don't want to record this so just put in the commands just just type in the command merv underscore streams edit my depth world record zero now if you print it again merv underscore streams print print it won't be recording the depths of the world only these three so you could turn yeah so you understand it you pretty much understand it okay now let's really start recording after all that jiggy 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 stuff okay let's really start recording put your type in host underscore time scale zero and then put host underscore frame rate into what whatever you want 60 frames 600 frames if you want something like slow motion put 600 if you want normal speed with high quality video just put 60 but I'll, I'll put 60 for now and then put Merv underscore streams record format TGA so it would record in TGA format not in actual video format so it will be like a sequence of pictures and then you're gonna put Merv underscore streams record name and then the um what do you call it? quotation marks and then you'll put the you're gonna put where the video where the recordings will be located so i want it to be in this folder so just copy the whole address of that folder then just paste it and then all that i have recorded will be here saved in this folder just enter it we're gonna put merv underscore streams record start and then you're gonna start it it's, it's, gonna, it's gonna take its time and then after that just type in merv underscore streams record end then it's done and then it's gonna play so just pause it now that we're done with CSGO just quit CSGO okay so after after you record so it's in this folder the same folder you'll see this just just find it and then you'll see three folders there's the my depth my mat my world 
the fog, the green screen, and yeah. So let's start After Effects. Oh, oh, cool, it started. I was just watching Baker's edits and stuff. So after that, just import, import the sequences, made this folder, go to file, import, file, and then my depth, select the first one, press open, go file, import, file, go up, go, go to my mat, select the first one, press open, file, import, file, go up, my world, first one, press open. So as you can see, we have three. Then, let me make a new composition. 1280 by 720, 60 frames. Cause that's the number of frame, that's the frame rate of the recording. So just import these two, these three, the three things. Oh, damn. Let's fit it. Let's fit the composition to the video. So as you can see, the it hasn't started up because of the console. We did not start it up when we, when we recorded. So just cut the cut the layers to where it started up and adjust it. And there you'll see 60 frames HD quality. Oh, it's kind of slow though. Okay, HD quality. Oh no, where's where's my where's my fu where's where's my blurry map? Where's my blurry? Huh? Where is it? I thought it will fix it. Wait, we're not yet done. Wait, go to the world. This this layer where it's where there's nothing. Go to this world, the my world layer. Just search in the effects camera, lens blur. Okay, just put that in. And then you're gonna select decagon, so it would be nice. And for the blur map, select the the black and white depth of field layer. So it will be that. So as you can see, it's further away. The blurrier it gets. See that? This is in focus, the ones near it, and then this is not. Yeah. So it, you don't need you don't need this, but don't delete it. Just un make it unseen. And then for the green screen, just type in key light and then you'll see this. Drag it in here and then select this. Select this and then just select this green screen. Then boom, it's finished. Usually it gets all weird with the colors. So you have to adjust the screen balance. It was shifty a while ago. So it's kind of weird. So just adjust it to zero. Yeah, I guess we're done. See that depth of field. Well, now I'm gonna make a new comp their new comp and then I'll drag this one here so because I want to preview it I think it's in kind of slow motion so so I speed it up by 50% to see the result HD quality but uh, I did not record the scope for some reason yeah so I guess I have to you still have to edit it just put in a scope overlay or something. So yeah, that's about it. I hope this helped you. And I really hope it did. So, thanks for watching the videos. And I'll keep on making more. See ya.